Before I start, I just want to say, if you're scrolling through Amazon or your preferred buying spot and you see watches that look exactly like the Doji, then it's because it is the same. I think this is because many brands are selling this watch model, so if you're going to buy one, I would recommend purchasing the one at the lowest price. So smartwatches have been increasing in popularity over the last decade and has become the new cool in accessories. From young children to the older generation, smartwatches are used on a daily basis to monitor everything from steps to sleep and even messages. Fitness trackers and smartwatches have now become a source of encouragement to exercise and sometimes a competition. Today I'm going to review the Doji CS2 Pro Smartwatch and Fitness Tracker. There are many good smartwatches and fitness trackers out there and I've used and reviewed a few of them before so I'll leave those links in the video's description below. So I'm going to break this topic into different subtopics like display, fitness etc. Let's start with the unboxing. The unboxing experience is pretty average. It comes with a manual and a charger. The watch needs to be connected to the charger to start the watch and that's the unboxing done. I just want to talk about the Alexa as that could be the reason you've picked this watch as is the standout feature which is quite rare. Okay so when I was writing my review I tried the Alexa feature but it wasn't working so I wrote that in my review but then when I was preparing it for b-roll it started working properly so I adapted my review. The Alexa does work on the watch pretty well to be honest although it did take a while to find the answer to my question it was working. What is the score for the England versus West Indies game? But I'm not sure in louder spots how it will work and if the mic will be able to pick up your audio properly. So if the Alexa is the main reason for you to buy this watch, then you might want to consider the negative. Like consistency. Build quality. It has an aluminum body with plastic health sensors on the back. It's also quite light. The strap is actually the nicest strap I've tried on one of these watches. It's really smooth and soft. It's just overall a good strap. In my time using the watch, the battery has been really good and I expected that because previous watches I've tried have lasted me up to 3 weeks with light use and even with heavy use I'm sure you could get around a week of battery life. So solid battery life check and when you need to charge magnetic pins attached to the back of the watch. Let's talk about the displays, that's what you look at on a watch. The display quality is surprisingly good, I actually really liked it. This display is nice and vibrant, the smoothness of the display is pretty good for the type of watch that it is. It isn't the smoothest thing but easily usable and not that big of a problem. The brightness is also really bright and will be easily viewable in sunlight. On all watches I try to check the customizability options as that's a feature that adds personality to your watch and this watch ticks that up. You have a decent range of wallpaper options which is really good. You, you can also have 7 wallpapers on the watch and out of those 3 you can pick yourself. Now features. This watch has most features that smartwatches have like weather, messages, music player. There are no out of the ordinary features in this watch except for the Alexa which I talked about at the beginning of the video. The app is also very average. You can change your settings, wallpapers and fitness info and that's about it. Health and fitness. As this is also a fitness tracker, there are a number of fitness features that this watch includes running, swimming, cycling and a few others. You can also set goals in, these, in different ways and also at the end of the exercise activity you get a summary of your training exercise. On the watch you can also check your blood pressure, stress levels, steps and sleep. Conclusion, so overall this is one of the better smartwatches and fitness trackers in this price range that I have tested. The good display and Alexa are for me the biggest features in this watch. But for you, it may be the health features or just as a bridge into the world of fitness trackers and smartwatches. So, is this watch for you? That's for you to decide. Leave any questions you have about the Doji watch in the comment section and I will try my best to answer them. I hope this video helped. Thank you for watching.